Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I. I have my morning tea and I hope you have your uh, morning beverage uh, and ready to hear the word from God. So uh, let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my Amen. mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. Today's psalm is Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me out and known me, and you know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journey and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O oh Lord, know it altogether. You press upon me behind and before and lay your hands upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from the, your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not too dark to you and the night is, uh, is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourselves created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your book. They were fashioned day by day when as yet there was none of them. How deep I find your thoughts, O oh God. How great is the sum of them. If I were to count them, they would be more, new, uh, more in number than the sand. To count them all, my lifespan would need to be a a like yours. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God. You that thirst for blood, depart from me. They speak despitefully against you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those, O oh Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies. Search me out, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my restless thoughts. Look well whether they are, uh, whether they be any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, when you descended upon the dead, you brought them the light of day. When you ascended into heaven, you brought a new radiance. Remain with us and lead us along the paths of life until we come to rest with your saints in the holy dwelling place where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue to hear what Balak and um, Balaam is up to. And as we continue in Numbers in the 24th chapter, beginning with the first verse. When Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he did not go, as at other times, to look for omens, but set his face toward the wilderness. As Balaam lifted up his eyes and saw Israel encamped tribe by tribe, and the Spirit of God came upon him, and he took up his discourse and said, <clears throat> The oracle of Balaam, the son of Beor, the oracle of the man whose eyes is open, the oracle of him who hears the words of God, who sees the vision of the Almighty falling down, but having his eyes uncovered. How fair are your tents, O Jacob, your encampment, O Israel, <coughs> like valley that stretch afar, 
like gardens beside a river, like aloes that the Lord has planted, like cedar trees beside the waters. Water shall flow from his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters. His king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. <coughs> God brings him out of Egypt and, and has, as it were, the horns of the wild ox. He shall, <coughs> excuse me, he shall eat up the nations, his adversaries, and shall break their bones in pieces and pierce them through with their arrows. He couched, uh, he couched, he lay down like a lion and like a lioness who will arouse him up. Blessed be everyone who blesses you and curses be everyone who curses you. And Balak's anger was kindled against, kindled against Balaam, and he struck his hand together. And Balak said to Balaam, I called you to curse my enemies and helped, and, and behold, you have blessed them with these three times. Therefore now flee to your place, I said. I will certainly honor you, but the Lord has held you back from honor. And Balaam said to Balak, Did I not tell you that mess, your messengers whom you sent to me? If Balak should give me his house full of silver and gold, I would not be able to go beyond the word of the Lord to do either good or bad of my own will. What the Lord speaks, that will I speak. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Romans, the eighth chapter, beginning with verse 12. So then, brethren... We are debtors, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if we live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put the death to, of the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is the Spirit himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, their heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from all the hands of all who hate us. The point promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to guide on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O God, to hear the voice, thy voice, and in hearing thy voice, to love thy word, and in loving thy word, to do thy will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the Lord Almighty. Bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this uh, Friday at the, in the seventh week after Pentecost. And don't forget Pastor Matthew will be on this evening with the uh, evening prayer. 
And uh, I'm so glad you joined us. Hope you have a great and safe day. God bless. Bye-bye.